In this video, we're gonna talk about toxic and wounded femininity, which I think is somewhat controversial, but it's probably because I don't agree with what most people say about it. My name is Sean Smith. I publish videos on this channel every week. So like the video, subscribe, hit that little bell icon down there so you get notified every time that we do a video and such. And at the end of this video, you're going to have a better understanding, at least my understanding, of what toxic and wounded femininity really are. I've been coaching for over 14 years now, almost entirely with women. And so we get into this feminine, masculine energy conversation quite a bit. And I think there's a misunderstanding out there about toxic masculinity and toxic femininity. So I don't believe there's such a thing as toxic femininity. I do believe there's something called wounded femininity or wounded feminine energy. But if you understand the difference in these two kinds of energies, the masculine energy is rigid. It's based on force. It's based on protection. The masculine is very afraid of attack. It doesn't like to be vulnerable. It doesn't like to be seen as weak. So when something pierces the masculine energy, it tries to regain its strength. So what it usually does is try to overpower somebody, try to regain control, try to dominate somebody, try to fill its masculine tank back up. And that is what we often refer to as toxic masculinity. So when men primarily hurt other people, that is them going after other people because of their woundedness. That is a masculine act. Anytime that you're going after really anything is a masculine act, whether it's food or money. So one of the things that a lot of people don't really understand is that even business is a masculine act. And so a lot of women, I believe, are trying to be too masculine in business, but that's a different discussion for a different video. The wounded feminine doesn't attack the feminine energy doesn't even really understand this concept of rivalry. It doesn't understand this me versus you energy. The wounded feminine doesn't try to gain control. The wounded feminine just realizes that it got hurt and what it generally does is retreat. So imagine you put your hand out and a dog bit you. You could either go after the dog and pound on the dog, that would be toxic masculinity, or you could go into the house and not ever go out again because you're afraid of the dog biting you, and that would be the feminine response. So it's a wound, but it's not toxic. In my application of it, in my understanding of it, and I like to really simplify things according to how we can apply it to our lives. So the feminine energy doesn't really even understand attack. But what's going on with a lot of women is they've retreated sort of into their cave, into their shelter so much because they're afraid of being seen. One of the ways that you don't get hurt is don't be seen. So a lot of women are actually afraid of visibility because once upon a time they were hurt by that masculine channel and they've been retreating ever since. Now, that doesn't mean that all women do that. A lot of women absolutely attack back or they attack themselves. Either way, it's the toxic masculine energy inside the female body that's doing that. So a lot of times internally, women will abuse themselves. They'll actually attack the wounded feminine with their toxic masculinity. And that shows up with real negative head talk. And I think a lot of women, especially most of the women that, that I attract in my business who are business owners, entrepreneurs, really out there, so to speak, and they've, they've got to make a name for themselves, a brand for themselves. They got to go get clients. They got to do videos. They've got to become visible. What a lot of them are doing is they're actually abusing their little girl telling her that she's not good enough, that she's not perfect, and if she just does better, then I'll let you out and play. That is the toxic masculine inside of a feminine body 
turned on itself. So if that resonates with you as a female, or it doesn't matter whether it's whether you're a female or you're a male, because this is going on inside of all of us, right? It's just that women, at least in, in the Western culture that I'm uh, familiar with, more women are programmed to be feminine and more men are programmed to be masculine. But we gotta drop the gender distinctions. It's not men who are doing these things and women who are doing other things. It's the masculine energy inside of each one of those bodies that act in a distinct way from the opposite energy. So hopefully that will give you some understanding of what might be going on internally with you, what might be going on in some of your relationships, uh, what might be the answer. And if this is kind of lighting you up about things that you've been challenged with internally, especially as a woman that's beating yourself up, then let us support you. This is the work that we do all the time. We call it neurotransformational coaching. And what that means is we provide our clients with a transformation in their neurology, not just a transformation in the intellect because the wounded masculine actually takes over the intellect and uses it as its weapon most of the time. So when we just play in the intellectual realm, we're actually engaging the problem and then hoping that it will solve itself. That's not how these things are going to be solved in my experience and speaking from 14 years of doing this kind of work with so many people. So I'll put a link in the description below or you can go to coachshawnsmith.com forward slash try hyphen coaching. Sign up for a free session. This isn't a sales call. This is actually doing the coaching work. We love helping people get huge transformational shifts that really truly move the foundation of your being so that you can heal whatever these wounds are and live a more liberated, happy, fulfilled, joyous life. So if you have any questions, comments, disagreements, go ahead and put them in the comment section here and either I or my team will get back to you right away. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in another video. That was a one take video. I've never done that, especially a short one. Just one take all the way through. I don't know if I'm gonna end up cutting any of that. I'll, I'll, if I don't do it tonight, I'll do more tomorrow and I'll let you guys know. Take care. Actually, I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm going to watch a movie.